Hello and welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DeNovellis. I may not be a meteorologist, but I can tell there's a change in the temperature that goes right along with seasons turning. Like I always say, cool outside, cool inside, here at the SBN studios. Now don't let the temperatures fool you. You've tuned in to the only network that shows you hot projects seeking investment. And I'm sure you'll warm up to offers presented for your consideration. Oh, one more note before we get underway. If you like what we're doing, or if there's something else you'd like showcased, by all means, let us know. Reach us by tweeting at ConnectSBN or by email, info at ConnectSBN.com. And if you do like what we're doing, there's one more thing. Tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Heck, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a stranger. We make it easy for you to watch us anytime, anywhere, on the go, or taking it slow. 7 p.m. Thursdays on Comcast, 7 p.m. Thursdays on Altice, 7 p.m. Thursdays on Roku, and whenever you want to watch online. The web address is www.connectsbn.com. We'll be right back after this brief message. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. You're with SBN. I'm Brian DiNovellis, and we're just plugging along. So when is a plug more than a plug? I think the people behind the Campaign for Liberty Access Technologies might say, it's only a plug unless you have the electric fleet charging infrastructure to rely upon. You see, Liberty makes electric vehicle charging systems for workplaces, schools, and for the new generation of electric school buses and delivery vans. Liberty's Hydra RX AC fast charger controller produces quick charging times at a fraction of the cost of DC fast chargers, enabling schools to convert more quickly to electric buses. Liberty has established a satisfied customer base at major corporations, government agencies, and municipalities. Now they're poised to dominate the electric school bus charging market. Talk about finding a niche and scratching it. Let's check the pitch video for the current status on their big idea in search of investment. I founded Liberty in the belief that the best way to reduce carbon emissions is with electric vehicles. And now I want to focus on school buses. Liberty Access Technologies is poised to play a key role in the electrification of urban transport. So this Hydra is uh, fully occupied with 10 meters managing uh, 10 electric vehicle chargers lined up here in the parking lot. We let fleet owners and multi-vehicle sites centralize management of chargers, usage, and ultimately their carbon footprint. What could be better for society than renewables? Solar, wind, and hydro. Evolving transportation into something sustainable. Liberty already supports the rapidly growing electric vehicle industry. Now we're building systems and insights that maximize real-time carbon savings. We're gonna lead the movement to electrify school buses. This is a great target for us. School buses represent the largest mass transit fleet in the nation. There's a lot of work to be done in this area. Electric school bus charging infrastructure will improve the overall environment and more immediately, the health of our children. It's our logical next step. School bus electrification demands new solutions. Are you up for it? Climb on board, the bus is leaving. Minimum investment in Liberty is $300. One more bit of wisdom for your consideration. Almost all of the other EV charging companies are focused on public charging and offer only standard output AC chargers or expensive DC fast chargers. Liberty, on the other hand, has been demonstrating the advantages of the AC fast chargers, ACFC, to school districts and electric bus companies for nearly a year. 
If you'd like to know more about investing in crowdfunding for Liberty Access Technologies, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We're back with more in just a moment. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. Welcome back. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, already in progress. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Are you ready to take a voyage to an incubator? I believe you'll see it's easier to do than you think. Voyage is a trip to the stars and beyond, to the actors, directors, writers, producers, and so many more involved in the production of film and television, north, south, east, and west. It's been said that Voyage is the first one of its kind, an incubator for film and TV that brings together A-listers from every discipline. Are you intrigued? Has this piqued your curiosity? Are you ready to roll on the pitch video for Voyage? Strap in, we may be on our way to investment. Hi, I'm Nat Mundell, the founder and CEO of Voyage. Since our first crowdfunding in 2017, we've been heads down executing on our mission to create a revolutionary new path for stories in Hollywood. And it's worked. Thanks to our family of investors, producers, and storytellers, we've produced seven movies and television shows, executed over 200 deals, won an Emmy, and have a pipeline of hundreds of incredible projects at various stages of development and financing, all from storytellers outside the traditional system and using our direct and friendlier approach. Here's a snapshot of some of our recent projects. Chance, a family sports drama starring Matthew Modine of Stranger Things and Full Metal Jacket. Valley Uprising, the Emmy award-winning documentary that had a long theatrical release a primetime Discovery Network release, and is now living on Netflix. My Daddy's in Heaven, the faith-based indie that hit number one on Amazon and starring Corbin Burnson of LA Law and The Resident. Flipping Miami, a reality show on A&E. And we even worked alongside producers Steven Schneider and Lorenzo de Bonaventura on the remake of Stephen King's Pet Cemetery that hit number two with Worldwide Box Office. And there's more to come. A Live Day, an action thriller based on the true story of a special ops commander and helmed by A-list director Philip Noyce of Salt, The Giver, and the TV show Revenge, and produced alongside Oscar-nominated Mike Medavoy of The Thin Red Line and Black Swan. 500 Miles to Nowhere, a western based on the legend of Bass Reeves, the first African-American sheriff in the West, and produced alongside Sean Reddick of Oscar-nominated Get Out and Oscar-winning Black Klansmen. Here's how we did it. We smartly invested more money in projects. We built a better and more experienced team. We established a strategic partnership with a film and television financing company that gives us direct access to production capital. We grew successful deals by 200%, and we grew our production revenues by 225%. And mostly, we did it with a lot of hard work and diligent focus. We want your help. Global demand for original content is up 500% since 2014. Voyage is poised to capitalize on that with our method that's direct, efficient, scalable, and that works for everyone, not just an elite few. Help us to build a sustainable enterprise with a mission to change how Hollywood does business. Please invest in Voyage today. Minimum investment in Voyage is $250. You've really got to hand it to them. They had an idea early on that anticipated changes in Tinseltown, and now they're capitalizing on it. If you have any questions about crowdfunding for Voyage, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, 
financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here. Info at sbncrowd.com. There's more ahead, so keep it tuned to SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back. You don't realize when you're mentoring and talking to people that you're more than just that mentor. You're, you're that person's support base. And sometimes you're the only person that they have that they can talk about these things with. For this next crowdfunding pitch, I'm keeping the intro short and sweet. Have you ever been a personal trainer or been the client of a personal trainer? Were there ever missed appointments or misunderstandings? Did you ever wish your trainer had an office manager in his pocket? What if we told you finally a personal trainer has put the ease of scheduling and more into an app called We Strive? Let's hear from that in shape entrepreneur now in the pitch video for We Strive. I'm Corey McCain, CEO and founder of We Strive, and we are reshaping personal training. We Strive is a platform for personal trainers to build, operate, and grow their online business, all while providing a five star mobile experience for exercisers and clients. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to explain to you how the platform works, where We Strive has been, where we're going, and how we're going to get there. Trainers can make money in two ways they can train privately with clients from our website or mobile app, or they can sell fitness programs on our marketplace. As an exerciser or client, I can purchase programs from that marketplace and I have thousands to choose from. I can work out for free using our mobile workout journal and progression tools, or I can find one of those private trainers and work with them through the website. There are no platforms like WeStrive. Ask a personal trainer you know if there's a central place where they can sell their fitness programs. Ask that same trainer if there's a place where trainers come together and they can grow their business. Also ask them if any of this can be done from a reliable app. The answer is no. If you come back to them in a few months and ask them, they'll say we strive. It's been a long journey to get here. I followed the typical entrepreneurial path. We strive was originally called Perfect, and we started off with just a website, a few programs, all hosted at perfectfitness.com. And since then, we've been building our update for private personal training. Nothing has ever stopped us from continuing to learn and grow as a company, and nothing will stop us now. In just a few months, the We Strive platform will relaunch with thousands of personal trainers at the helm, and we want you to be a part of it. We already have future plans in place for nutrition, corporate wellness, strategic partnerships, and so much more. We've gotten to this point on funding from just myself, friends, and family. Invest in the future of fitness. Invest in We Strive. Minimum investment in We Strive is $100. It's a great idea for not missing a training session, and everyone deserves best practices in small business matters. If you want more information on making an investment in We Strive, the Small Business Network can help. Just drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We're back with more in a minute. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. You're watching the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. I'm Brian DeNovellis, glad you can join us. Have you ever had a beloved piece of furniture that was difficult to sell or nearly impossible to give away or heaven forbid, something you wound up throwing away? This next crowdfunding campaign may salve your spirit and offer you a way to invest in preservation in a manner more down to earth. Loveseat.com claims to be a thriving local online auction marketplace established in San Diego and Los Angeles with an inventory of more than 2,000 pieces of furniture and decor. They are on a mission to scale up, expand operations to additional markets and otherwise dominate the world of selling beloved pieces. Does this sound like a good way finally to invest in a future, finding new homes for full of life furniture? Maybe while you consider it, we'll just have a look at the moving campaign pitch video for loveseat.com. I love the fact that they often have um, particular pieces that I'm interested in. I'm interested in um, learning how to uh, restore furniture. So some of these pieces are very appropriate for that. I mean, 
some of the pieces are just beautiful too. Like I love uh, beautiful woodworking, uh, different kinds of um, carvings on legs of furniture and you just can't get that with a lot of these big box stores. So the variety and the fact that they're doing this, this auction and you get to kind of compete with other people to get different pieces is, or things that I really like about Love Seat. Minimum investment in loveseat.com is 100 bucks. According to its founders, loveseat.com may be the leading edge of a huge untapped category of e-commerce worth more than a billion dollars annually. Has me curious, have they checked for loose change under the cushions? All kidding aside, if you want to learn more about loveseat.com and its potential place in your portfolio, the Small Business Network can help. You can connect to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here. Info at sbncrowd.com. There's more ahead, so keep it tuned to SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back. You're back with us here on SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. So when was the last time you were tantalized and bowled over by ginger? We're talking ginger root here. The same ginger used in making so many delicious recipes and, oh yeah, the same ginger used in making ginger ale. This is also the tale of two brothers, the Diallo brothers who came to the United States as teenagers and brought with them an appetite for higher education, along with the native African recipes handed down through the generations in their family and acquaintances. One of those recipes was for Jinjan, a sweet, nutritious refreshment that has captivated practically all who've tried it. The Diallo brothers had their sights on success, though not without facing obstacles, as they learned how beverages from Africa were so out of reach. This might be a good place to pick up the brother's story in the pitch video for Jin Jan. In many ways for us, we are living the American dream right now. It's something that a lot of immigrants that come here really strive for and never get to. And even Americans that are born and raised here strive for and never get to. We feel uh, very lucky to be here in New York City, uh, the melting pot. I don't think we could have done this anywhere else in the world. You know, and it's just, it's just uh, we feel, I feel so blessed and lucky uh, to be here. My mom and my dad as well always made sure to impart uh, to us that it's extremely important to, to be an entrepreneur and actually build or bring ideas to life and essentially be the change you want to see in the world if you, to be a little cliche. <laughs> Since we always wanted to be entrepreneurs, we, we were always looking for that one idea. That one idea that we were passionate about that we would go out there for and, uh, and just fight for it. Ginger juice is a traditional beverage that we grew up drinking in Africa. It's been around for thousands of years and it's something we grew up drinking and uh, when we moved to the United States we realized that it was almost impossible to get a quality drink and we looked at each other that moment and we go, we should make this drink. <laughs> when we decided <laughs> to make this ginger juice <laughs> we literally had no idea what to do. We didn't even know where to start. Uh, so what do you do when you don't know what to do? You call mom. <laughs> and so we called our mother and, uh, and we took her recipe and from there we went to work. Ginger is made with uh, fresh ginger, cold pressed pineapples, uh, fresh squeezed lemons, vanilla, anise, and organic cane sugar. And it's fantastic. So uh, this is our mother's recipe and her mother's recipe and her, <laughs> our great, great, great grandmother. So it goes all the way back. It's something that's been made from household to household. For a lot of people, this would be the first time they've ever got introduced to, to an African product. Oftentimes when people try this, their reaction is always, oh my God, I've never had anything like this. I love to hear people say that they've never had anything like it because that's, you know, that's exactly what we hoped that we are sharing because it, it means that we're bringing a new experience to people and that's, that's important to us. We finish around uh, 5, 6 a.m. I go home, take a shower, uh, get into my nicest suit and go to work. 
And while I'm working, he's doing demos, uh, meeting with the uh, store managers, uh, going to uh, FedEx Ship Center to fulfill our website orders. Uh, and typically that's how a day is, and uh, we stay busy all day. There's always something more to do. It, it brings me a lot of joy, you know, knowing that my brother and I made something good enough that someone is willing to give us a hard-earned money for, and we're very, uh, it's very gratifying, you know. So that's, that's, that's the best thing that I've gotten out of all being an entrepreneur. Being a minority entrepreneur in America, or just an entrepreneur in America, uh, this is still a great time uh, to be a business owner or to launch a business. Uh, you have uh, local businesses out there. If they see you're passionate enough and you work hard enough, they're willing to, to support you, to help you. You have a corporate companies such as FedEx uh, with grants out there trying to help small businesses like ours. The FedEx uh, Small Business Grant is a perfect example. We are a very small company. We, we, we just only now started uh, promoting our online uh, website. However, it did not matter. We were a young small business that, that was uh, working hard to grow, to do well, and uh, we were grant winners, which to me uh, is, uh, I, I still cannot believe it, I'm pinching myself. So, to be brief, for a young black Muslim guy, to be the national grant winner for FedEx shows you how, how amazing this country is. If there is just one example of the American dream, I think, uh, We've experienced it. <laughs> Minimum investment in Jinjan Brothers is $350. They believe the next big thing in beverages is African-themed drinks, with Jinjan Brothers already poised to be the category leader thanks to its rapid success in Whole Foods markets in New York City. It's so much more than the flavor of the month. It's delicious. If you'd like to know more about investing in Jinjan Brothers, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. Keep it tuned to SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back. Welcome back to SBN. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Here's another crowdfunding campaign that plays to our appreciation of enjoying fresh foods on our tables. The folks behind Lettuce Networks are gaining momentum as they enter the competitive field of meal service delivered to your door. Lettuce Networks claims to have refined the entire process, growing or sourcing the freshest ingredients locally and shipping directly to you. I think you'll understand when you see the excerpts of the pitch video why we thought this was an idea worth a crowdfunding investment. Lettuce Network says its mission is to bring local, sustainable, nutritious food to the urban suburban mainstream by removing the major barriers of awareness, accessibility, and affordability. Very worthy of consideration, and there's so much more to learn about Lettuce Networks. If you'd like to know more about crowdfunding for Lettuce Networks, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We're going to take a brief intermission to reset the table for more franchises on offer and crowdfunding campaigns that may spark your curiosity and investment. We'll be right back. Keep it here on SBN, the Small Business Network. 
I'm Brian DiNovellis and you're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. The network where you can learn to make investments like a pro for as little as 100 bucks. If you watched SBN for a while, you may know I have a great deal of respect for my boss. You may know I also think he's a bit of a gadget nerd. Hence, our next project or product campaign up for your investment consideration is from RPS Manufacturing LLC, the manufacturer of the RPS Power Sports Suspension. So they ask, what if a company was started with the complete knowledge of how to grow it endlessly with the least amount of pitfalls? RPS Manufacturing says it has done exactly that. More than 20 years of successful industry experience in the marketplace, RPS Manufacturing LLC is determined to prove it's more than a small suspension shop. It's the seed of a future market juggernaut. Now, before you say a word, what caught our attention most was the earnest on-camera appeal by the top guy behind the project. It also helped when he brought out the product and explained what it was for, what it could do, and you guessed it right, that's what tripped my boss's gadget nerd alert. So without further ado, let's take a look at the pitch video for RPS Manufacturing LLC, the manufacturer of the RPS Power Sports Suspension. Hi, I'm Marcus McBain with RPS Manufacturing. I want to take a few minutes and tell you a little bit about our company, the products we sell, and where we're headed as a company. RPS Manufacturing manufactures coilover shocks in the power sports industry. Our M2 shock, which is produced in Rolla, Missouri, set the world record in the premier Pro Street class piloted by Frankie Stotts on a CBR 1000. By closing out the 2018 season with the world record in Pro Street at 6.60 seconds, our performance and brand value are undeniable. We've seen a direct correlation to sales in our Harley market and even in our Can-Am Spider market. In the automobile and motorsports industry, there's a well-used saying that says, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. All of our products employ our technology that we use to win on Sunday. And our Harley-Davidson shocks are a prime example of this. On our Harley-Davidson shocks, we actually employ spherical bearings on all of our springs. We're one of the few manufacturers in the world that actually even do this for Harley-Davidson sized shocks. What this allows the spring to do is to twist. What most people don't realize is the shock itself is a two-piece unit with a shaft and a piston that goes up into the body tube. Consequently, it gets a little bit of torquing. If you throw on the spring twisting with no relief to the spring, you get a performance degradation. That's one of the many advantages we have with the technology we deploy in all of our products using our racing heritage. One of the original strategies of RPS manufacturing is that we would quickly be able to make specialty parts and design them on the fly. As a consequence, our development time is in days and weeks rather than months and years. It's been a huge part of our success up to this point. Thank you for spending the time to learn about RPS manufacturing and M2 shocks. As you've seen, we have quite a diversity of products. That diversity though, was as much of a practice as it was a strategy. To be able to take our race technology and employ it in our Harley Davidson shocks, and even something so street oriented like the Can-Am Spider shocks, is the proof of concept that what we're doing is the right thing to do. Using that race day winning technology and employing it in our products is gonna be the key to our success in the future. As we grow into the four wheel markets, starting with car drag racing first, and then our next market will be half-ton trucks. We expect nothing but more success as we continue to grow. We look forward to you watching us grow. And again, we thank you for your time taking a look at RPS Manufacturing and M2 Shocks. Minimum investment in power sports suspension is $247. Full disclosure, neither my boss nor I ride motorcycles, so we wouldn't be the first in line as consumers of this shocking technical breakthrough. What makes the investment attractive is the appeal from the principal and his career experience in motorsports as a professional racer, suspension expert, and team owner. If you'd like to know more about investing in crowdfunding for RPS Manufacturing LLC, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Small Business Network. 
As always, we hope you saw something you liked, whether or not you've chosen anything for investment. If you have any questions about raising funds for your small business startup, or questions about anything at all, drop us a line here anytime. Info at connectsbn.com. I'm Brian DiNovellis. We look forward to seeing you next time, right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs.